Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Harvest Kids today. We are so glad that you joined us. Yes, we are. And Mr. Mike, I have a challenge for you. For me? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? I want you to name all the books of the Old Testament in order now. Okay, here we go. Uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, and Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, and Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, and Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Whoa, one second, I thought maybe you were gonna lose it there, but good job. I know, I learned those books when I was in kindergarten and I still remember them. Oh, that's really cool. Well, we are gonna learn all about in our story today how Ezra read God's word to the people and it changed their heart. Oh. So we're gonna learn all about that today as we read our Bible story. Okay. Of course, but also as we play games, yes. make a delicious snack oh. and do some worship, which starts right now. Yeah. So everybody stand up to your feet and let's get ready to praise God now. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Diving. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Diving. We're gonna dive down deep in the Word of God. We know that our God knows who we really are. Jesus knows my worth no matter what I've done. Jesus has a plan. It's called salvation. Submerge.
Hey kids, we're going to sing this next song, but we're going to worship the Lord and sing it from our hearts. And I want to encourage you, if you're in a place that's a bright room, or、um, if you're standing right now, go ahead and sit down. And if you can, you can even turn down the lights. We're going to focus on the Lord in worship. You know, worship is to God, it's for God, and it's about God. It's because He is worthy. And it's not just singing, there's a lot of different ways we can worship the Lord. But in this worship moment, we're going to sing a chorus to this song called Glory to God. Forever. So sing along. Let's focus on the Lord and sing from your hearts. The words say, Glory to God, glory to God forever. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God forever. Sing it again. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. Sing along with me. Take my life. Let it be all for you and for your glory. Take my life and let it be yours. Take my life and let it be all for you and for your glory. Take my life and let it be yours. One more time. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. Great job singing, everybody. Hey, boys and girls, welcome to our game today. It's called Memory. We're going to show you some things on the screen, and you need to memorize them. We'll give you a little bit of time, but then we're going to take the slide away, and you need to recall what that slide had on it, whether it be animals or colors. And if you need a little extra time to remember all those things, you can pause the game and continue afterwards. So let's get started now. Okay, so star, beach ball, puppy. All right, take the slide away. Now, you guys, we'll test your memory. So, what was slide number one? Star, beach ball, puppy. Good job, everybody. If you got that one, your memory's working. So, let's try slide number two now. Okay, let's take the slide away. All right. Do you remember what it was? Okay, I'll give you the answer in three, two, one. It's shoe, cat, music note. Did you remember that one? Oh my goodness. If you did, then good job. All right, let's get the next slide up now. And take off the slide. Oh, that one was faster. It's getting harder. Okay, the answer is socks, sun, fish, pizza. Did you get that right? Oh my goodness. All right, let's get the next slide up now. Okay, look hard and take off the slide. Okay. Can you remember? I know there was a turtle on there. Okay, so we're going to give you the answer now. And it was turtle, sunglasses, baby, controller, football. Did you get that? Great job, everybody. Okay, let's get our next slide up now. All right. And away. Do you know what it was? Man, that's confusing because all fruit kind of looks the same, right? Well, not really, but like, okay. The answer is apple, pear, banana, watermelon, guac, or avocado. <laughs> And avocados make guacamole, so. Hey, if you got that slide, you're doing good. All right, let's get our next image up now. And take it away. Oh, that was hard. I knew there was a rocket ship.、Ah. Okay, we're going to give you the answer in three, two, one. House, 
rocket ship, cow, rainbow, cheese. Great job, did you guys get that one? All right, let's get another slide up now. These are colors, <laughs> all right. Memorize those colors and take them away now. All right, we're gonna give you the answer. Can you remember them all? All right, the answer was blue, black, orange, pink, red, yellow, and purple. Did you remember all of those colors? Did you forget one? There was no green on there, was there? All right, great job, everybody. All right, let's get our next slide up now. All these items start with the letter P, so here we go. All right, take a look at them, memorize which ones they are, and take away the slide. Okay, let's go and see what the answers are. We got peanut, penguin, pineapple, princess, present, pickles, and plant. Did you get those? Oh my goodness, if you did, great job. Okay, let's get our next image up now. All right, another color one. All right, these are crayons. Okay, and take it away. All right, we'll give you the answer. It was yellow, red, green, blue, and purple. Great job. Okay, last slide. Let's put it up on the screen now. Ooh, we're throwing a curveball at you. These are letters. All right, let's see if you can see the hidden word for today's game in this slide. And take the slide away. All right, what letters are up there? Was there an M for Mr. Mike? No, there wasn't. We're gonna give you the answer now. It's S, O, D, W, and R. The hidden word, we're gonna give you the answer. W, O, R, D, S. And what's that spell? Words, which is our word for today. All right, well, thanks for playing our game today called Memory. We'll see you next time for another fun game. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Jackie, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Bible. Now, if you're not sure what unboxing means, it's like when you get something new and you open it up to see everything that's inside. But this is even better because we are opening up God's Word. Let's find out what our word is for today. W O. R D S. Words. Our word for today, that's funny. Our word for today comes from our memory verse, which is Psalm 119, 130, and it says, The unfolding of your word gives light, it imparts understanding to the simple. Would you guys say that again with me? Ready? Psalm 119, verse 130, and it says, The unfolding of your word gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. <gasps> That's awesome. That means that God's word makes us wise. All right, well, we're going to learn all about God's word and how important it is in our lesson right now with Mr. Mike. So pay attention now. Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Mike here. How are you doing today? We are gonna do a little bit of a Bible study in the book of Ezra. Can you say Ezra? Good job. So here we are. We learned how Nehemiah rebuilt the wall and in 52 days they rebuilt the temple and here we are now. Ezra was a scribe and he traveled to Jerusalem and he would study God's word and he would learn about God's word and he would teach others about God's word. Hey, what is this that I have in my hands? Shout it out, what is this? That's right, it's a Bible or God's word or the good book. And there's 66 books in this Bible. And towards the front, there's a book called Ezra. Now, here's the setting. The people in the city of Jerusalem some of them didn't know what God's law was and they were making mistakes and they were sinning. And so Ezra, who loved God's word, came into the city and he would teach them about God's word, talk to them about God's word, and they would listen. They would worship God and get excited about what God was doing. Even the king here in Ezra chapter seven wrote a letter and made some decrees because Ezra was teaching God's word. And at the end of chapter seven in Ezra, it says, so I was encouraged as the hand of the Lord my God was upon me. And of course, God's hand was upon Ezra because he was sharing about God's word. So three things I wanna tell you today. Number one, God's word is powerful. Everyone hold up your muscles. Powerful, God's word is powerful. So when you speak God's word, it's the truth and it's God's words. So 
They are powerful. They can move mountains in people's lives. They can change hearts. They can uplift spirits and make people happy and joyful. The powerful word of God. Number two, God's word changes us. If we're living not like we're supposed to, we're making mistakes and we don't care, we have bad attitudes, well, God's word can change us. It can tell us what's right and wrong and how to live. And so God's word is powerful, God's word changes us, and number three, God's word encourages us. Have you ever felt like, why was I born? Or what's up with this world? Well, the Bible can encourage us and tell us to not give up, to keep going, that God is always with us. And you know what? If we love and follow God's word, these three things can be possible in our lives. We can be powerful. I'm not talking about having superpowers here. I'm talking about God can be powerful through us if we let him. And also we can be changed from God's word. I know that we all know someone who's stubborn and like, no, I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna do that. Well, God's word has the power to change us, but we have to read it. We have to learn about God's word and it can change us and we can share it and help others change as well. And number three, we can encourage others. We can encourage others. When we get to know God's word and we use it in our lives and share it with others, we can encourage those that we're around. Do you know anyone who's sad right now? Maybe they're sad. Maybe they're dog died. Oh, that is so sad. Well, we can encourage them with God's word and say, you know what? Jesus loves you and he died for you. So the Bible is really important. It's not just a book full of stories. It's really important in our everyday lives. And it's really important tool that we can use to share with others. And that's what Ezra was doing. He was teaching others about God's laws. So let's pray together and we can thank God for his word to us today. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for this Bible story. We know that Ezra was a man who loved to study God's word and teach others. And that's what we should do as well, Lord. We don't want to always be complaining and always have a bad attitude, but we want to teach others and encourage others with God's word and teach them how Jesus loves them. So thank you for your word to us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I'm Jackie, and welcome to Snacky Time. All right. Well, today we're making a healthy and delicious frozen treat. We're making a frozen yogurt popsicle. So what you need for that is some yogurt. You need some fruit. I'm gonna use a banana, but you could use like chopped up strawberries or blueberries, whatever you like. I also have some sprinkles, because of course it's snacking time with me. I love sprinkles. Um, I also have these little paper cups and I have a popsicle stick. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put my little paper cups out and I'm gonna take my banana and open it up and I'm gonna slice it. I'm gonna use my popsicle stick to slice it actually. We'll put a slice at the bottom of the cup. One other one at the bottom of the cup. And I lined it up real neatly just like that. Now I'm gonna take some sprinkles and put them around the banana, kind of like layering the bottom of the cup with the sprinkles. You could use mini chocolate chips if you want, or just leave this part out if you're not, if you're not a fan of any of those things. Perfect. Okay, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my yogurt. I have some cherry yogurt here. Use whatever flavor you like. And I'm gonna layer a big spoonful right on top of each one. You can make about four mini frozen yogurt popsicles using one of these larger containers of yogurt. Okay, perfect. And now I'm gonna do a couple more slices of banana and put that right into the yogurt cup. And then I'm gonna stick my popsicle stick straight through. Perfect, and then you're going to tap the cups on the table, get any air bubbles out. Make sure your popsicle stick's touching the bottom of the cup. And that's it, you guys. Now I'm gonna stick these in the freezer and I'm gonna show you what to do as soon as they're frozen. I'll be right back. Frozen! These are ready to go. Okay, so the cool thing about using the paper cup is that we can rip it. So I already started ripping this because I just couldn't wait. 
but you rip your paper cup and you peel it away from your frozen yogurt popsicle. <gasps> and ta-da! Look at that! You see the banana, you see the sprinkle, you see the delicious frozen yogurt. Doesn't this look so good? Okay, so maybe it's gonna be too hard to bite at first. So you might wanna leave it sitting out for a few minutes, but these are so fun to make for your friends and family. You could even dip this in some melted peanut butter and freeze it, or melted chocolate and freeze it again. That would be so good. I'm gonna try to take a taste, ready? Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That is so delicious. All right, well, I hope you guys make these at home. Pick your favorite fruit, pick your favorite yogurt, pick your favorite sprinkles, and enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>Well, thanks for joining us today. We had a great time learning about how important God's Word really is. Mm -hmm. And we learned that if we ever find ourselves going against God's Word or disobeying God, mm -hmm. then we need to get back in line because God's Word is true and it guides us and it has power in our lives. And it is oh so important. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's so important, Jackie, that I know I was tested to share the Old Testament. I wanna ask if you can share the New <gasps> Testament books of the Bible so we can test you today. Okay, okay, I'll give it a try. All right, try. all right. Okay, ready? Yes. Set, go. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, Hebrews, James, 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 1 John, 2 John, 3rd John, Jude, and Revelation. Yes. You missed one book. Which one? Ah, kids, do you know which one it was? Philemon. Oh, I know, that's hard to do, but great job. I'm sure that she'd get it perfect if we did it again. But that's all the time we have for you today. Hey, if you learn the books of the Bible, all 66 of them, maybe you can tag us and post it on Instagram and we could check it out and we would love to see what you're learning at home. That's a really good idea. Yeah. I want to hear you guys repeat the books of the Bible. Yeah. That's a good idea. So find us on YouTube and Instagram at Harvest Kids Live, and we can't wait to see you next time. That's all for now. Bye-bye. Bye. Love you.